We're gonna make it to 40, baby! Y'all said 50 in the video. Oh, All right. So all I gotta do to this one is add them up, right? They're already opposites. The x is cancel. So I get negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7y equals 28. Does 7 go into 28? No. Barely. How many times? Like three. Four times four. Like four. <laughs> okay. So we got y is equal to negative four. Now I just plug it in. Choose an equation. You want the top one or the bottom one? The top. No, the bottom. I like the bottom because it's small. Okay? Now the y is going to be a negative four. Okay? So then I'm going to add four. So then negative x is equal to four. So then I'm going to change the signs. That's got x is going to be negative 4. And negative 4 is going to be x. And the y is going to be negative 4. And so the intersection is at 1. <laughs> negative 4, negative 4. Or 0. That is 0. Well, Alright. Okay. So then I can do the same thing with this guy except... I have to change their signs. Once I change their signs, I add them up. This is x, this is nothing, and this is zero. X is zero. Oh, well, that was easy. Then I plug it in. Wait, wow. Ooh, I'll just stop you when you're done. You don't see that? I just change their signs, right? Because I wanted to multiply by a negative. Right? Does that help to put that negative one out there? Yeah. Okay. All right. So then I want to take this top one. Negative 3 times 0 plus 10 times y equals negative 30. Right? So basically, 10 times y equals negative 30. So that means y has to be negative 3. Because I divide by 10, divide by 10, y equals negative 3. So where is the intersection? The intersection is at zero, negative three. Boom! Oh wow! I thought it was um, the other way. So I just did. That's, that's okay. <laughs>